Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So on the Ethereum chart, yeah, the plan has worked out pretty much nearly, nearly too perfectly today. Okay, nearly too perfectly. Um, a bit strange how, how you know, I've been watching the ETH chart all the time today, uh, tuned out, tuned back in, and then it's always been dropping, dropping, dropping. And I was thinking, well, that sounds too perfect nearly because um, it's just following the yellow preferred wave count pretty perfectly. Uh, even even this morning, I didn't really believe that it's going to turn around in this resistance area that I showed you here um, between 1585 to 1595 because it really maxed it out. But it shows the just shows the power of the FIPS, you could say. So it reacted to it where it needed to. Um, the yellow wave count remains preferred. At the moment in the yellow wave count, we are obviously we started that larger decline here on the 1st of October. And we should now be in this third wave that could be nearly finished, um, but it would need another low in wave five of three, ideally hitting 1530, maybe a little lower. Then we should get a fourth wave, but only after we've had another low, then another fifth wave to the downside, which would complete circle wave three. And that should somewhere land, I mean, ideally sort of 1450, 1450 but but certainly somewhere in this region here in the yellow box basically um, depending on how you measure it so if i for example take the length here of circle wave uh, one and i go to the high of the wave two then an ideal target obviously would be the 1.618 extension that takes it close to 1450 um, another way of measuring is that I take here waves one through three. It's not finished yet, but let's assume it goes down to 15.30, then roughly targeting sort of 15.13. So I would say watch the area between 14.50 and 15.13. I will be able to give you a target more precisely once we really have here yellow wave four complete, yeah? Um, the thing is, it is still technically possible at the moment that the white wave count plays out, which is just another way of subdividing within the um, yellow wave three. So in the white wave count, this is just an A, B, C structure instead of a five wave move down. We would then have to count the move down as a diagonal, which is acceptable. A C wave basically in a, in a diag an ending diagonal in a wave C. Uh, it, it is it is still possible and if we say that this white wave count is playing out it would simply delay the sell off a little bit this would still be a perfect spot for this b wave to to start really i mean the b wave is basically unfolding in this wave count in this assumption and would have already done an a wave the b wave and now move up in wave c this would be a so called flat structure absolute still possible uh, and then resistance is here between 1606 and 1638. But that is just um, basically a larger corrective bounce within an overall downtrend, okay? So that's just something that um, might delay this last wave down. Obviously, typical crypto behavior. So we should be prepared for that. They like to do these flat structures. Um, but, you know, if we make one more low below the Monday low, possibly targeting 1530, then this will basically be very unlikely. And I would rather focus here on the yellow count. I mean, the yellow count is anyway the preferred one, as I said, right? Um, so yeah, I think the levels are clear. I think resistances are clear. The trend is clear. And that's exactly what we were watching for today. Yeah, when I made my first video today, he explained to you, okay, you know, we, we're focusing on the yellow count. That's the preferred count. Shouldn't break above 1595 to maintain this downside pressure didn't so it was a nice short trade area there for anybody who wanted to use it even though it depends on your time frame because overall we're very close to support of course and this is exactly where these these surprise bounces you could say start and that's why i have added that level to the charts yeah this abc corrective flat structure where first of all everybody gets bearish down here then everybody gets bullish up there and then it, it does break down, right? So just be aware of that. Yeah, but there is nothing else to add. I think um, let's see how the uh, how the Asian traders are going to move the markets. And um, but typically it's quiet now. Typically it's quiet until tomorrow stock market opens again, which was quite interesting today. The stock market, um, quite a bit of a rally. S&P, NASDAQ, the DXY starts to drop. Crypto not really affected. Interesting. So I keep you updated. I hope you like the update. 
If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And uh, last week we added our, or we opened and, and started our stocks and S&P 500 service. Could be useful for anybody who's looking for alternatives to crypto. Yeah, maybe to um, diversify your portfolio, especially in times where the S&P is really volatile and um, has arrived at a major turning point potentially. So yeah, um, take a look at it. If you're interested, daily S&P updates, also in video format and several stocks and shares. You can find the link in the video description for that. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.